This video is for entertainment purposes only. Viewer discretion is advised. Shut up. Oh Lord, looks like so somebody is selling out because Certified Lover Boy, um, your character is coming back. That Certified Lover Boy character is officially coming back. And according to what I'm hearing in the rumors, is he really coming back? Or is he just coming back just to make that certain somebody who rejected you jealous that you have moved on and you're falling for someone else? Now, many people are going to call you a sellout this day and the third because you're not really good at keeping secrets or keeping keeping promises because you sell out too much, okay? And it's not a good look for you. When you make a promise that you're not going to fall in love again, you keep that promise. Now, for that, why are you going back to falling in love? I don't understand it. Like, please help me understand. Like, Why? Is it because you want to make that somebody jealous that you're moving on or proofs to, to that you that you are really moving on and you're trying to prove something that you're not really sad. You're not really moping around anymore or or is this another publicity stunt? Either way, I think this is just another publicity stunt because that afro you had for two months Heading into July, it looked like you were really struggling. That beard looked like you were really struggling. That scruffy beard. It looked like you were really scruffing. You really struggling. For real, for real without her. But in real time, you got to go out and get yours. And that's what you did. You got that fresh cut. And now you feel like a new man. And now you're stuck with this argument saying that you are not anything without Certified Lover Boy. Nothing. You're not anything without Certified Lover Boy. And it's just sad. It's just a sad argument that you have to live with forever. And it gets aggravating. You know what I'm saying? It gets really, really aggravating that you're stuck with this argument. Because you moved on. You're not trying to fall in love again. But Cupid, he's just he's just always knocking on the door for you. You know what I'm saying? He's always ready for you. He's always telling you the wrong things at the wrong time. He's always sipping on that Hennessy and always being high. So, let's see what happens in the next few days.